Yeah. Moving on to part B. This says find out the progeny of a marriage between a colorblind man and a carrier woman. Now, whenever it comes to colorblindness and hemophilia, we are talking about X-linked traits. So that's where our chart has to have X and Y in it. Any other crosses, we simply use the letters based on the trait. So over here, since it's colorblindness, let's say, let's see, stand for colorblindness. Okay, so when you're talking about the colorblind man, will obviously be X, C, Y, and the carrier woman, a woman is always X, X, if she's a carrier, colorblindness on one of the X chromosomes. Now, if you were to cross this, these are the parents. Next, we have the gametes. These will separate out into XC and Y, XC and X. Now you draw the Punnett square. Please use a ruler when you're doing this. Your work must be neat. You must make a good impression. Now these two come here. So you've got XC here, the Y comes here. This XC comes here and this X comes here. So when you combine these two over here, you've got XC, XC. Then these two combined over here, XC, X. These combined XC, Y. This and this gives you X and Y. So the question says find out the progeny. So here you can mention that the progeny is basically another word for the offspring. You will have a normal male, which is X, Y, a colorblind male, which is an X, C, Y. Then you will have a carrier female, which is an X, C, X, that is this one. So you've got a colorblind male, normal male, carrier female, and a colorblind female. And a colorblind female. These are the possible progeny. These are the possibilities. So this is the answer that they're looking out for. So you can highlight it in a box neatly. The progeny is there. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, that's part to find out the progeny again of a marriage between a normal man and a carrier hemophilic woman. So let's say let H stand for hemophilia. Done. Now we have a normal man. And you have a hemophilic woman. So normal man would be X, Y. Hemophilic woman would be X, H, X, H. Since she has hemophilia, hemophilia is recessive. It's got to be there on both the X's. So these are the parents. The gametes that we'll have are X and Y, XH and XH. Then we have a Punnett square. This X, this Y here, these two here, XH and XH. Combine these two, XHX, XHX, XHY and XHY. Now what does this indicate? This is the offspring of the progeny. So we can mention that there's the progeny is either hemophilic males XHY both these and carrier females 
they won't really suffer from it, but they are carriers of hemophilia, XHX. This is your progeny. Okay. Well, it's as simple as that. Now, if you've done the whole paper with me and you've gone through all the questions, let me again reiterate that you do each question starting off on a new page. Leave enough spaces and make your work nice and presentable. I hope you found that helpful. Do well. All the best.